We inhabit a wondrous world where tiny insects thrive all around us, each embodying profound wisdom that invites us to pause, observe, and learn from their hidden lessons. Welcome to Green Wildlife, where we talk about animals and their behavior and the thoughts of wisdom we can take from it. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating process bees undergo to produce their honey. The Alchemy of Bees, Crafting Nature's Golden Elixir Honey, a sweet marvel of nature, is the culmination of bees' intricate labor and biological ingenuity. This golden substance, cherished by humans for millennia, is not merely collected, but meticulously crafted by honeybees through a sophisticated process. Let's explore the remarkable journey from flower nectar to honey. 1. The forage begins. Worker bees, the hive's indefatigable foragers, embark on flights up to five miles to locate blossoms. Using their proboscis, a tubular tongue, they siphon nectar, a sugary liquid secreted by flowers, into their honey stomach, a specialized storage organ distinct from their digestive stomach. A single bee may visit 50 to 100 flowers per trip, yet it takes approximately 2 million flower visits to produce one pound of honey. 2. Nectar Transfer and Enzymatic Alchemy Returning to the hive, foragers regurgitate the nectar to house bees, initiating a transformative process. House bees chew the nectar, mixing it with enzymes like invertase, which breaks down sucrose into simpler sugars, glucose and fructose. This enzymatic action not only predigests the sugars, but also stabilizes the nectar, inhibiting bacterial growth. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe so you can get notification when we release new videos. Next up is number three, the art of dehydration. The modified nectar, now called honey stomach honey, is deposited into hexagonal beeswax cells. To reduce moisture content from approximately 70% to 17 to 20 percent, bees fan their wings vigorously, creating airflow that evaporates excess water. The hive's warm temperature, around 95 degrees Fahrenheit, accelerates this evaporation, thickening the nectar into viscous honey. 4. Sealing the treasure. Once the honey reaches optimal consistency, bees seal the cells with wax caps, preserving it against moisture and contaminants. This airtight storage allows colonies to sustain themselves through winter, relying on stored honey as a carbohydrate-rich energy source. 5. Collaboration and Efficiency The process is a testament to collaboration. Foragers communicate